two municipal police officers and one protester were injured during a clash to release the CACs in the 26 opposition-led local units, while election materials were burned in Burrell. State police removed electoral materials from CAZ No. 11 in Kukus as a result of the tense situation on the CAZ premises. The Serious Crimes Court has postponed the next trial session against former Interior Minister Samir Tahiri due to the lack of confirmations over the announcement of the defendants who are declared wanted. It is 6 o'clock on Wednesday, the 19th of June, 2019. Good evening and thank you for tuning in to RTV Aura's English edition. My name is Oliver, bringing you the only daily update of the local Albanian news translated into English. Making headlines tonight, clashes which began in Škoder yesterday after the police and the Central Election Commission refused to release the commissions of electoral administration zone premises following the president's decree on the annulment of elections continued this Wednesday in the 26 municipalities that are held by the opposition. The worst of situations occurred in Burrell, where citizens were faced with tear gas. Opposition supporters removed election materials from the commissions of electoral administrative zones. Even in Kamza, tear gas was used to disperse those who entered inside the court of the commissions of electoral administrative zones, while a municipal policeman was transported to the hospital after sustaining injuries. The deputy mayor of Kamza said they are there for the implementation of the president's decree, calling for the cancellation of elections. Meanwhile, in Pascuchan, similar reports detail damage to election materials and a physical confrontation with police forces. A municipal policeman was injured in Kukus after his confrontation with state police. Even in Pogradets, the same situation was witnessed, where Situations and Municipal Police also had the support of former opposition MPs. The deputy mayor of Pogradets said that they have until Thursday to release the premises of the CAZs. In Malakasar, Mayor, Mayor Agron Kaplanai said that the public property was occupied by the establishment of the CAZ. In Delvina, the Rapid Intervention Force went to defend the commissions of the electoral administration zones. And all in all, other tensions were also reported in Kavaya, Shkrapar, Bilisht, Jirokaster, and finally, Beirat. Next up tonight, elections will not be held on June 30th. Under this motto, citizens and opposition supporters have reached their first victory vis-a-vis -vis the CAZs and Kukus. After today's clashes involving the use of tear gas against opposition protesters in their attempt to free CAZ No. 11, election materials were voluntarily removed by the state police from the location where they were stationed. Kukus's mayor, Bashkim Shehu, considered this action as being the right implementation of the law. According to Shehu, any electoral activity is in contravention with the law and the decree of the president published in the official notebook. CEAZ No. 11 in Kukus is the first municipality to voluntarily vacate the electoral premises. The government of Edi Rama continues to condemn the protests of the opposition while demanding the release of commissions of electoral administration zones in cities where the Democratic Party and the Socialist Movement for Integration govern. Prime Minister Edi Rama, during a conversation with residents of Unit 1 in the capital, makes it clear to Luzin Basha that he can be declared a winner of the elections, even with a ballot box, before characterizing right-wing municipalities as gangs. Through municipality, municipal workers, Luzin Basha burns schools. That is it. The municipalities are turning into gangs, expressed the Prime Minister. Edi Rama seeks help from opposition supporters to bring about a halt of protests. Otherwise, he warned they would be punished for electoral crimes. All this mess is being done in fear of justice reform. I sense regret for those who are following their leaders, as they will end up in prison. They encourage people to get in trouble while they themselves sleep calmly in their homes, declared Rama. Anyone who commits electoral crime will not be allowed to leave the country for five to ten years. This measure shall go to Parliament tomorrow. This whole mess was created over the fear of justice reform. I have regret for those people who are following him because they will end up in prison. They go to jail for Luzim, who then encourages people to create more messy situations. They've turned the municipalities into gangs. In all the attacks, the police have filed the documents pertaining to each incident. We have even made mistakes, said Rama. 
Prime Minister Rama is convinced that the opposition has gone down the path of protest out of fear of justice reform, even though he acknowledges that this situation is undermining his work as the head of government. <clears throat> Seven people were arrested in Tripoya after the incident which occurred on Tuesday when a group of citizens entered within the premises of the historical museum and damaged election materials at the CEAZ No. 9. Crime investigation specialists at the police station in Tripoya have reportedly arrested seven individuals for the penal offense of opposition of police officers and the intentional damage of election materials. Five other citizens were prosecuted for this penal offense of organization and participation in illegal activities and manifestations. Meanwhile, six other citizens were apprehended for penal offenses of destruction of property, opposition to employees of the public order of police, and intentional damage to election material. Up in Shkoder, police have arrested five people, among them two municipal police officers and one agricultural specialist. They are being accused of setting blaze to the Shenzhanze Yuka School in Shkoder around the neighborhood called Congress of Permet. Reports claim that they also destroyed election materials on school premises and initiated violence against police officers. 14 citizens are considered to be wanted, while two others have already been prosecuted. In the hours of the morning, a clash between municipalities and police forces shifted to the building of commissions of electoral administration zones in Kavaya, where Democratic Party supporters assembled along the exterior of the premises following the municipality's request on the release of the building. The decree by President Ilir Mehta to cancel the June 30th elections will be examined on Monday by the Electoral College following a request by the National Unity Party to be unregistered by the electoral process. In case the Electoral College decides to deregister the party of Idyat Bechiri, it will then automatically leave Mehta's decision to non-decree over the local elections. But at the time, the Socialist Party continues with the procedures for the dismissal of President Mehta, exactly because of this decree. At the first meeting, the MPs of the Laws Commission heard the justification of the Socialist Party Parliamentary Group Chair Talant Bala for the request of 55 Socialist MPs on Meta's dismissal. According to Bala, the head of state has heavily violated the Constitution by assuming attributes of the Parliament and voters while accusing the President of taking the opposition's side, which according to him is destabilizing the country. On June 24th, the Laws Commission will assemble to discuss the request by the Socialists until two days later when the report and proposal for the establishment of the investigative commission is voted on. Ulsi Manya informed the president that if he wants to be heard by the Laws Commission, he is welcomed in the proceedings of the request for his dismissal. The first hearing session today slated for former Interior Minister Saimir Tahiri and three former Valora police officers has, been, has failed in the serious crimes court. The former minister was presented in court where he was accompanied by two of his attorneys while the other three defendants in absentia had authorized their defense lawyers to represent them. However, the lack of official confirmation on the announcement of the defendants who are currently declared wanted has led to a postponement of the hearing rescheduled for July 4th. In Thierry's response, he states that he would like sessions to be reviewed every day if possible, since according to him, this is an issue which does not need to be delayed any further. He stated, I have thought about it, and I believe that there is no reason for this trial to be postponed. I have reasons to believe that many people are interested in this happening, and there are those who don't care if justice takes place. I ask the court that, if possible, to hold my hearing sessions almost every day. It has been two years since they've been procrastinating on my case. I was under personal investigation in Italy by the anti-mafia anti prosecution, and the courts issued their verdict, which said that Samir Tahiri has nothing to do with this. Although Tahiri has several times declared himself the best interior minister, he did not want to answer questions about the situation or whether he would vote on the June 30th elections. The session was also monitored by the representatives of the U.S. Embassy. The former Interior Minister is accused of favoring the Habilai criminal group. Even the prosecution of Cantania investigated Tahiri, but the investigation was closed as there was no evidence of drug trafficking offenses found against him.
And that's the news across the country today. Thank you so much for watching our English edition this evening. And be sure to join us again every Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of RTV Aura, thank you and good night.